So I have like mm, three stories that I want to tell you about still life painting. The first one is that usually as we embark on still life paintings, the most common complaint I get is that still life paintings are boring. Now, I totally understand this because when I first started painting, I was like, my gosh, could it get any worse? We're just gonna collect three objects or like a group of objects, in your case, three objects, and then have to make a composition of this. Well, here's where my three stories start. First, I taught a drawing class. In the drawing class, I had a student draw a beautifully rendered picture of a bong. When I came over to her and I said, oh, my gosh, what a beautiful drawing of a bong. She got really freaked out and she was like, it's a vase. And I was like, uh oh, it's a vase. I've really made a bad call on this. And then at the very end of class, she was like, you were right, it was a bong. And I was like, okay. Now, I'm not telling you this because I want you to do anything which includes uh, drugs of any sort in your still life. I'm just saying that for me, it was really exciting because when I saw her drawing of a bong, I was like, wow, this is an undeniably modern, interesting take on still life that I had never seen before. Right? I'm very accustomed to just seeing beautiful fruit, beautiful glasses, beautiful, um, maybe even kind of like dead animals or something like that. Now, the second thing I want to share with you has to do with um, my mentor. Uh, his name is Ron Graff. And so back when I was in graduate school, before I had ever met Ron, I saw one of his paintings that was in the Allied Arts and Architecture Library at the University of Oregon. And the way it was painted from like the distance that I would see it, it looked perfectly like there was just a live goldfish swimming in the bowl. And is that Ron had not shown every single detail, rather he had implied that detail, which for me was absolutely amazing. And then the last thing I want to share with you is some of my own work, which um, I became interested in still life again, I would say like a few years ago. And I've been trying to ask myself, how can I depict things that I haven't seen before? And also kind of give some voice to gender and sexuality in my still life paintings. And so you'll see, I'll share certain things with you, like um, a tampon in a bowl of cream, or um, pears with a speculum. Um, and so what I'm trying to do is to allow myself to compose uh, with objects that are not uh, typical. And so I hope that you will allow yourself to have that same kind of freedom. Like there is no reason that your still life should be boring. What I want you to do is to make it as interesting to you as possible. And that might mean using uh, symbolic materials. So something that really like speaks to you that is important to you. Um, or it might be things that have kind of cultural significance, or you might go in a totally formal direction and you're just like, I picked everything because it was the best shade of purple I've ever seen. And I'm gonna be like, okay, like that's awesome. So you should definitely, uh, I'm, I'm putting you in charge of this, make your own still life interesting. And that's what this week's forum is about. I want you to post pictures of your still life as you have it set up. If you want feedback from your fellow artists, you can ask for that. If you want, you can post more than one and have people give you feedback about what they think you should work with. Or you can just sort of let us know, okay, this is what I'm doing and we'll go from there. I hope you have a wonderful time painting.